Hey guys, this What Up Wednesday video is going to be a little bit different than all of the videos that we've ever done. Mm -hmm. um, over the past few years, just things have happened, you know, while we've been living in the RV and, and traveling and... Years, months, weeks. <laughs> it's just made us think here, especially recently about the direction and what we really want out of life. And we've uh, thought it over and we've made a couple decisions. times we fell oh i've been afraid some days but the road will lead us to a better place road will lead us to a better place in a ditch had to ask forgiveness dead ends come and go look toward the horizon oh there are stories to tell the times we grew and the times we fell oh i've been afraid some days but the road will lead us to a better place better place Oh, there are stories to tell Times we grew and the times we fell Oh, I've been afraid some days And the road will lead to a better place oh, There are stories to tell The times we grew and the times we fell oh, I've been afraid some days But the road will lead us to a better place The road will lead us to a better place full-time RVing are we we've had a lot of issues recently and like I said at the beginning it has really made us think about things about my health what got us into this in the first place was my health <laughs> and now I'm starting to think maybe that's what's gonna get us out of it is your health <laughs> my health not just my knee, but my overall health. You know, um, we did get the colonoscopy results. There's nothing really wrong. No. There's not a lot right, but there's nothing really <laughs> wrong. No, but you'll have to be checked more frequently. Yeah. So we have to keep an eye on that. And we still are watching the knee. 
But that means that you have to be near doctors mm -hmm. on a regular basis. Pretty much. So the first thing that got us questioning everything came several years ago. The first, second year that we were into our full-time adventure. And it was the demo on our kitchen slide where it had to be rebuilt because of water damage. And it's a big slide. It's not just a little kitchen slide that has like a refrigerator going out or the stove and microwave going out. It's a full slide on the other side of the RV. And when we found out about it, you know, it, there, there was three ways to go. One, we just sell the RV right then as is, let everybody know what's wrong with it. Two, we continue to live in it until it falls apart. Or three, we go ahead and get it fixed, swallow the cost, and we decided on number three because Lori said it's it, our home. It's our home. Yep. So we went ahead and swallowed the cost. But you know, that stuff over time, I get back and I, I scratch my head and I start thinking about it. And I'm like, wow, that was a chunk of change right there. And then the issues that have happened since then that we've dealt with. Mm -hmm. um, most recently was the front landing jack. Yeah. And if we didn't have a friend like Dave to come and help us and friends yeah. like Becky and Myron that have come to our rescue before mm -hmm. also, um, yep. we probably would have been done a long time ago. Yeah. But we've been lucky and fortunate to have made these friendships that they've helped us through those rough times. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and other things we've dealt with like water leaks under the window and what else? Oh, the water heater leak. And maybe you think, oh, those things are minor. They're always going to happen. We know sure. that. We do, but, but sometimes over, it gets to be too much for over, people. Over time, it adds up, you know, and it really makes us start thinking about it. I mean, it is a 17-year-old fifth wheel, and we keep chugging along with it, and it has issues. And it's kind of like I tow the truck. It's a 22-year-old truck. Yeah, we maintain it, try to keep it up to snuff as, as best as possible, but it's a 22-year-old truck. When we saw it driving away on a flatbed tow truck, that hit as another, like, oh, here we go again. That was, However, a, that was a hard one for me, watching that thing go away on the back of that tow when truck. When the ambulance took it away to go back to the doctor. Um, but it wasn't the truck's fault. It wasn't our fault. No. There wasn't anything wrong with the truck. We had its yearly checkup. So it's kind of like you go to the doctor for your yearly checkup and you're fine when you walk in and when you leave, you're broken. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, not supposed to work that way. It just really made me start thinking about the whole situation and everything. And then here in Reno, we have our Kia. Yeah. And it broke down, both at the same time. Both of them, within so, a day of each other, they both broke down. And the Kia is a 17 year old vehicle. I mean, everything that she has is old <laughs> and it's all breaking down. <laughs> you know, things don't last forever. No, and neither do lifestyles, things in your life change, right? I mean, we've gone through several different changes. Yeah, Radio, really bed and breakfast, radio. Yeah. We really have. <laughs> we've been back and forth and up and down, and so things things change. Yeah. So, um, travel, that becomes another subject of questioning, and that mm -hmm. is, you know, price of fuel. Granted, it's come down a little bit. It's still a lot higher than it should be. You know? Yeah. The, the, and what can we afford? Again, you know? coming down that much after it went up that much. It's just the price of fuel is outrageous right now. And the traveling part, we like to boondock. We choose to boondock and dry camp more than anything. 
there's a lot of people doing that now. Is it harder to boondock? Yeah, it's harder to do everything these days. But is it harder to boondock? Yes, it is. It's tougher. Yeah, especially when you want to be kind of somewhere where it's quiet and you want to be by yourselves and you've got a bunch of other people around. Mm -hmm. um, we're not the only ones that have come up with this issue. So yeah. we, we know that it's not something that's just happening to us. Um, and and then we, we, we do stay in RV parks and that's another issue too. Uh, getting reservations is tougher. Uh, the price of the RV parks has gone through the roof. You know, you go stay one night now, it's almost on an average, it's like 50 to 60 bucks a night if you take the whole average in. And that's a lot of money. It really is. And even, especially the, when you bring your own house. And even the no frills place that we always stayed at in Bakersfield when we would go there, yeah, has gone like through the roof crazy. Yeah. For nothing. Yep. I mean, you have your full hookups, but that's it. Yeah. There's no pool, there's no hot tubs there's no there's no nothing nothing there's a laundry room with four machines that's it and i know you've heard it over and over and over and you're living it prices of everything have gone up oh, yeah. but again that's all part of this video it's made us think what are we doing one of the things i've done just the last couple of days is i've gone back in our youtube channel to the very beginning and i started watching in, in their entirety some of our videos a lot of our videos, really, not just some of them. I started from the very first one that I made when we were still living in Lebec, California, <laughs> and hadn't even moved into it full time yet. And I used a Casey Musgrove, uh, Musgrave song, Musgrave song yeah. and we got dinged for it the very first time. <laughs> but it was just an outside and a quick outside tour of the RV. But I, I watched that and I started laughing and, and giggling about it. But there have you know, I, I, I watch some of these old videos and some of the things that we've done over the past eight years now. We've stayed in some it's nice places and we've stayed in some interesting places. Like one, one of the most interesting ones, well, there's actually two, but one of them's in Amarillo, Texas. <laughs> the AOK -OK RV Park. And the swimming pool was oh up to here in mud and weeds growing in it and frogs jumping through it. The first thing that <laughs> happened though is we pull in to go get into our site that was a big giant mud puddle oh. is a plane came <laughs> up over, you know how at the end of a runway they've got like a berm there? It came right the up over our head. I thought it was gonna hit us. We pulled up to the berm. That's where the RV park was, or still is, I think. Yeah, if it's even still But there. it's amazing. So that was, uh, an early part of the adventure yes. and then we've stayed at some absolutely beautiful places like mid-missouri and near lincoln nebraska yeah. at the pawnee state recreational area there and even in park city utah that was gorgeous where we stayed there we were at an rv park mm -hmm. in that valley and it was incredibly beautiful you know so we have had some good times and we've met some amazing oh. people people that have become more than friends and we can't even begin to list you all and become family <laughs> we really do think of yeah. you as family and i started thinking about that and started talking to lori about the people we've met and how close we've become to a lot of you guys and then i started saying something about my health again and i said we're sitting here on your sister's property big house do we really want to get back into that because everything that's happening to me right now and us if we had a house we'd still be in this be, same boat it would still be happening it'd still be happening it's the same stuff you still get a leaky roof you still get <laughs> you a still broken got a water seal heater. around the windows <laughs> yeah you still get a broken water <laughs> heater your cars still break down the same things happen to you no matter where you live, what you're doing. What your lifestyle is. It just really doesn't matter. And when with RVing, you have your RVing family. So you usually see each other here and there. You, just mm -hmm. like you do with your regular family when you come home or go to visit them wherever they are. Your family helps you with issues like my sister and my brother helped us with the issues that we went through the past couple weeks mm -hmm. and 
our RVing family, Dave, Becky, and Myron, and anybody else that has come to our rescue. You know who RV you are, and we thank you, and we, and we love, love you, you so much. Yes. We really do. But after thinking this over, the question was, are we done with full-time RVing? No. No. No, we're not. Nope. We're not. But we wanted to make this video and bring to light a lot of the stuff that happens can happen if you're in a sticks and bricks. It just doesn't matter. You know, we love the lifestyle. We love the freedom. We, we, we got wheels on our house. We can pack up and move if we don't like our neighbors. And right now we love our neighbors because it's <laughs> Lori's sister and brother-in-law. Yes, we love our neighbors right now. So, um, granted, we aren't living our full-time RVing lifestyle the way we originally planned, yeah. but that's why we write our plans in the sand because it, no, nothing ever stays the same or goes according to plan. Exactly. So, but we are enjoying the way that we are living it. Mm -hmm. We like being up here in the summertime, getting to spend time with family and getting all of our things taken care of, mm -hmm. you know, the car's doctor's appointments, our doctor's appointments. That's right. And then we enjoy our winters when we go down into Arizona and then we join up with our RVing family. Mm -hmm. So even though, and we never did set out to go to every national park or to go, you know, do all those things. Mm -hmm. We've done a few and, but we're happy and comfortable mm -hmm with the way that we are doing it now. We'd like to see a couple other places. Yeah, but really you know, would. maybe we will get to see those mm -hmm. when the times are right. Mm -hmm. So we look forward to seeing you out on the road. Find the moment and make it Write your headline and raise it to the sky Find the moment and make it Write your headline and raise it to the sky No one else can create it Take your band